In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the IF command to change your snippet output depending on a condition. An IF command always starts with IF colon followed by a condition that you want to test. If the answer to the condition is yes, TextBlaze will print out this part in the middle. And finally, you close the command block with an AND IF command. Let's say I have a snippet for an email template and I want the greeting to change depending on whether I know the recipient's name or not. This is what happens if I input the recipient's name. And this is the result if I leave the field blank. Now let's look at what's happening behind the scenes. In the first part, I'm using a form text field where I can fill in the recipient's name. I've also given the text field the label first name to use in conjunction with my if command later on. Don't worry, it will all make sense in a bit. Also, note that this part is enclosed within a note block so that it doesn't show up in the actual snippet output. Next, we have the greeting. The word hi is outside the if command block, so it will always be printed out. Now comes the if command within the curly brackets. In human language terms, this is what we're saying. Does the variable labeled first name contain something? We indicate this by using the two angled brackets and the two quotation marks, which literally means is not equal to empty. For the next step, we're saying if the answer is yes, print out the next bit. And finally, we conclude with the end if command. Let's keep building upon the snippet with another example of the if command. Notice how the highlighted bit only shows up when the total value is higher than 49. Now let's look at how the snippet is assembled. The first part remains the same. Here I've added another form text field with the label quantity and a default value of 1. In the next part, I'm using a formula to multiply the value of the variable labeled quantity by 24, which is the price per item. And finally, we have the if statement. Once again, we're asking the question, when we multiply the quantity by 24, is the result higher than 49? If the answer is yes, print out the next bit. If the answer is no, don't do anything. In this next example, I want to inform buyers that we offer free shipping on orders of $50 or more. That's where the else command comes in. All I need to do is add the else command in curly brackets right here, followed by the text I want to show up if the amount is less than $50. In human speak, we're just telling text plays if the amount is greater than $49, show the first message. Otherwise, show the second one. Let's see it at work. Notice how the message changes based on the total amount of the sale. But what if you want to have multiple options? For that, we have the else if command. For the next version of this snippet, I've added a drop down menu that specifies where the package will be shipped from. Notice how the expected number of days for delivery changes based on my choice. Let's look at how that works. First, I'm using a form menu command with four options London, New York, Tokyo and Moscow. I've given it the label location so that I can reference it in my if command later on. Next, I'm asking the if command, is the location London? If the answer is yes, we'll get the text three working days. But if the answer is no, 
the if command will move on to the next step in the block, else if. Here we ask, is the location New York? If the answer is yes, we'll get the text 5 working days. If it isn't, we move on to the next else if, and so on until the end of the if block. Notice that when checking the value of a variable, I'm always using the double equal sign. In TextBlaze, the double equal sign is used when you want to compare values. To conclude, here's a quick review of what we've seen in this video. The if command is used to change your snippet output depending on a condition. The else command allows you to set an alternative in case the set condition is not met. The elseif command allows you to add even more conditions and options. An if block must always end with the end if command. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you check out this video's description for links to other examples and ideas on how to use the if command. Thank you for watching.